Hey, and welcome to the Drive and Dish podcast for December the 28th. We got a light slate in the NBA, but we're going to give you our DFS value plays of the day. Let's get into it. All right. We'll start out with the point guards. Uh, pretty uh, high value to play here. I, I didn't see a lot of low value guys uh, to use. So uh, I highlighted uh, Lillard. And Morant is a really high value plays you got to lo- use. Uh, I think Murray has decent value. He hasn't had a good start to the season. Uh, maybe today versus Houston is when he breaks out. And uh, on the uh, sort of lower end of the spectrum, uh, Monty Morris, uh, it looks to be a high scoring game versus Houston. Uh, if it's a blowout, look for Monty to get more minutes and more stats. He had a pretty solid game in his last outing. And uh, last but not least on the uh, really, really cheap end, um, we got Alex Caruso. Um, he's he probably won't get a ton of minutes, but he is effective in those minutes that he got. Does he's doing about fifteen minutes a game at thirty nine hundred? If he can get you an eight three three and maybe a steal or two, uh, pretty decent value, especially on a very small slate with a not a whole lot of real cheap options today. We'll move on to the short shooting guard uh, category. I highlighted James Harden. I, I wanted to wait and see how he did. And he did phenomenal. So uh, even at his really, really high value in such a uh, small slate of games, I think you have to uh, tip that 11,500 uh, uh, mark and uh, just play him, especially if he's throwing up uh, 44 and 15. So uh, n- don't look for a lot of drop off today versus Denver who are uh, been d- a little defensively challenged. So uh, look for Harden to have a di- Definitely another big game. And at 11500 I know it's hard, especially with such a small slate and uh, not a lot of cheap value, but I'd go with him. On the uh, lower side, I look for Clarkson to have a real big day off the bench versus OKC. This is the kind of game where he scores a lot of points. It won't give you a lot of production elsewhere, but he will give you some points. And at 4,500, I think you sort of have to use him here. And the other one I highlighted was Gary Trent uh, Jr., uh, slow start so far in the in Portland uh, in his uh, second year here. So uh, I think he'll get off the schneid a little bit, hit a couple threes. Portland has not been great to start the year. Had to make a real big comeback to uh, take that Houston game. We'll see if G- Gary Trent uh, can find his bubble form, uh, so to say, uh, to start the year. And at uh, 3,600, uh, really uh, no risk value there. So uh, if you wanted to use Harden, uh, a Gary Trent in there would sort of help balance things out. Uh, hopefully he can give you a little something. Uh, small forward side of things, uh, Kevin Durant still undervalued, not to the 10,000 mark yet at 9,500. Really think you got to use uh, Kevin Durant. Uh, I don't think Memphis matches up real well, well with him, uh, especially with Jaron Jackson Jr. still not back yet. So uh, Kevin Durant, uh, pretty good play here. Uh, in the middle tier, Joe Ingles and Kyle Anderson. Uh, Joe Ingles, I think, will have a great day off the bench with Jordan Clarkson. I think that second unit will get some uh, really good numbers uh, versus OKC today. And uh, Kyle Anderson's been playing a lot of a lot of minutes for Memphis. He looks to be able to, he'll have to match up with uh, Kevin Durant. So uh, look for his minutes to stay an uptick. He doesn't present a ton of, he doesn't have a ton of statistical value scoring wise, but he does give you some assists, some defensive numbers, a handful of rebounds. So uh, uh, for uh, 4,600, I I think there's definite value there. And last but not least, Rodney Hood. Uh, It was about all I could find at the 3,500 mark wing wise. uh, Maybe he gets some minutes uh, guarding LeBron today, but if LeBron plays, that'll come in later in my don't plays today. But uh, Rodney Hood, if uh, Gary Trent, continues to struggle look for Rodney Hood to maybe start to fill some of that void there and at 3500 in the power forward category Christian Woods value continues to go up 8100 but uh after what I saw I think you got to use him in this uh, Houston offense I look for him to continue to get really really good numbers so uh Christian Woods a definite play for me today uh Bojan Bogdanovic uh for Utah uh Definitely use uh, versus OKC today, and uh, his value still sits pretty low at 4,700. So I like that value of using Bojan uh, today, especially in a nice, juicy matchup for Utah versus OKC. 
there were a couple of cheap ones in the uh, small forward or power forward category I thought were useful. Kyle Kuzma at 4,200 has been pretty productive off the bench uh, so far, and uh, he's getting about 25 minutes. So at 4,200, if Kyle can give you a sort of 16 and five, uh, really decent value. Uh, Siku Dembouye uh, continues to have per minute rebounding numbers that are off the charts. Uh, the Pistons seem not to want to play him. I don't know why, but uh, his per minute uh, rebounding numbers are ridiculous. So uh, at 3,500, if he comes in, plays 10 minutes and gets you uh, around 10 boards, uh, which is pretty much what he's doing right now uh, at 3,500, a lot of value. And uh, Alexei Pogoshevsky, uh the OKC gave him about 15 uh, minutes uh, the other day. I look for him to play about 15 to 20 minutes, especially if games are blowouts, so he'll get even more. He took some shots. He didn't hit any shots, but uh, at 3,500, uh, he's a pretty skilled big uh, who can shoot. So uh, if he finds his legs in the NBA, 3,500, pretty decent value. So uh, we'll move on to the centers. And uh, I had all high-valued centers here. I think you have to use either uh, Jokic or Gobert today. Definitely uh, with it, such a small slate. Jokic at 10,000, uh, he would be my choice, especially with Houston really uh, having no ability to guard a big. Rudy Gobert has been just great uh, since his contract uh, extension. And uh, look for him to get a lot of rebounds on a lot of missed shots from OKC. Montrez Harrell has continued his six-man-of-the-year production for the Lakers. Uh, so look for that to continue. And he's a little bit more in a decent value category at 6,200. And last but not least, Derek Favors. If Utah gets this blowout at 4,200, should get pretty decent minutes and uh, presents pretty decent value there. What are my stayaways for the day? I'm staying away from Trey Young, uh, 9,800. I, I think there's better value in Lillard and Morant and Murray at 94, 85, and 7,100. So uh, I just go there, and I think the production will be around the same. So you could save a little cash there. In the shooting guard, I'm staying away from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Utah defense, they'll probably put Royce O'Neal on him. I don't look for him to have a good day at 7,800. Just don't see the value there. I, I think you're better off uh, dropping down and going after one of the cheap options in shooting guard. In small forward, I have LeBron James highlighted just because I don't know how much he'll play. He played yesterday uh, in a back-to-back -back situation in Portland this early in the year. I don't look for him to uh, play a ton of minutes if he plays at all. In the... Uh, Power forward call category, John Collins. It's still a bit of a mess of a rotation there. Uh, can't really find out what's going on there till uh, with Gallinari and Collins. The minutes uh, with Capella, too. It, it's just sort of a log jam right now. So I'm just staying away, especially at 7,000. It's almost creeping. I think if that gets in the 6,000s, then you start using uh, John Collins. And last on centers, uh, I couldn't really find a great one. Mason Plumley at 6,000, 200 more, you get Harrell. I think there's a lot more value in Harrell than Plumley, So I'd stay away from Mason Plumley if I was doing a, a value play on that, uh, even though he is getting a pretty decent minutes for Detroit, but uh, they, he's been pretty unproductive. I have not been impressed with his play. All right, that's our DFS value plays of the day for the Drive and Dish podcast. Please follow greenlightnetwork.org for all our podcasts. We'll have a new know-it-all podcast, which will have our man Achilles Rain in today to talk about the NBA week that was and our and our movie reviewer Rita Cinema is going to break down Wonder Woman 84. So that show will be dropping later today. Then tomorrow, our football time podcast with Achilles Rain on our recap and review of the NFL Week 16. A lot of big playoff matchups coming up on Week 17. Who's getting in? Who's getting out? Should be a great podcast. Greenlightnetwork.org. Please subscribe and like our page on Facebook. That's our show, and we're out. Thank you.